Hello and welcome to the Sheet Day. I am Zen and I'm back with another IELTS video. Today we're going to have a look at the IELTS writing task 1 and we're going to have a look at the pie charts. They are the yummiest of all. When I say yummiest, they're the easiest too. Although when I talk about the pie, I always remember the pies. My favorite pie is a lemon pie. I don't know what your favorite pie is. So the pie charts, they remind me of the pizzas. All right. I like my pizza cut into six pieces. How many pieces do you like your pizza cut into? Why am I talking about this? Because that's important. Let's say you, you, you like getting your pizza cut into six pieces, just like I do. Now let's say you, you're six of you sitting now. So each of you would get one sixth. Because it's six pieces in total, six people, everyone gets one. So let's say you get one piece, so you get one sixth. I get one piece and I get one sixth as well. So this is how it works. Now imagine there are six pieces and it's just you and me and we are both very hungry. So the half, three pieces are yours, three pieces are mine, half. So now imagine there's another guy who likes his pizza cut into eight pieces and there are four guys sitting there. So four guys, eight pieces, everybody gets two pieces. So two, 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 together, eight. So everybody is getting one fourth or a quarter of the total, quarter, one fourth. Like the time is quarter to 12, 11.45, quarter to 12. So it's a quarter less than 12, or it could have been quarter past, sorry, quarter past 12 or quarter after 12, that would be 15 past 12, 12, 15. So you need to have a look at these things, like one tenth, like one out of 10 is one tenth, 10% 10 is one tenth of 100. So you need to look at these things. So for example, if it's 20 out of 100, it's one fifth. If it is, let's say 33, it's one third. If it's 50, it's a half. And if it is 75%, it is three quarters. So you need to have a look at this doubled, trebled, uh, then halved, one third. So please pay attention to these connections because these are very important for the pie charts. Now let's have, the pie, let's have a look at the pie chart that we have today. And let's start with a question. The pie charts given show world spending, world population, and consumption of resources in percentage. Write a report for a university lecturer. So we have to write a report for a university lecturer. Now, remember one more thing. When you're writing a report, you have to summarize the information. You have to talk about the main features. And if you can make comparisons, perfect. And that's it. We cannot talk about each and everything in details. We have to select and report things. So let's have a look at the first one, the world spending chart. 40% is other. We don't know what is other. So why talk about something we don't know? So we'll ignore that. Of the known expenditures, let's have a look. Food, 24%. 24%, does it ring a bell? 25% would be a quarter. So 24% is almost a quarter of the global budget. Then you have clothing at 6%. 24%, 6%, 6% is a quarter of 24. Then have a look at the next one, housing 12. 12% is a double of 6%, but it is the half of 24%. So it's up to you, which connection do you want? And then have a look at the last one, transport, 18%. It's three times more than clothing. Or it is equal to housing and clothing put together. It's up to you. How do you want to have a look at it? Okay, so look at the world population now. 57% of the population of the world lives in Asia. 57%, so it's more than half. So you can say more than half of the population resides in Asia at 57%. Look at Europe and Americas, 14%, 14%. Why not talk about them together? Remember, when we say Americas, we mean South America, 
and North America. So we're not talking just about the USA. We're not talking about USA, Canada, or Mexico, for example. We're talking about the countries like Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Ecuador, Uruguay, Paraguay. There's so many of them. Guatemala. So we're talking about both the Americas. Then Africa, 10%. 10% is one tenth. So if you have 10 people, one in them is definitely an American. So you can say, uh, every 10th person in the world calls Africa their home. Then, uh, if you look at the consumption of resources, 60% for the US and Europe. USA and Europe together consume 60% of the resources of the world. The rest of the 40% go to the rest of the world or the others. Now, please don't make any political statements about them. You cannot give your opinion in graph writing. It's categorically forbidden. You just have to talk about what is given in front of you, even if you know why is that, even if you know the reasons behind that, no, you're not gonna talk about that. You just have to describe what is given in front of you, why is it, you don't have to talk about it. And don't give your personal opinion or reasoning. That's not a good idea because you'll not get a good score. Do you understand? Okay. So. Now, it's pretty straightforward. We've already had a look at all the connections. We already know all the numbers. So what is the first thing that we need to know? We need to write an introduction. And that's pretty simple. You have to talk about what type of graphs are these, what do they talk about, and what units are used. If you don't want to do that, you can paraphrase the question that is given. And in this case, the question already says exactly what the headings are. So you can paraphrase that. Next thing, overall. Overall, you talk about the most important thing. Here, the most important thing is food 24%, Asia 57%, and Europe 60%. So if we talk about all of them in overall, what will we talk about in the body? So choose any one of them. You say, well, when we look at all three pie charts, overall, it can clearly be seen that the trend is mixed in all three pie charts and there's an uneven distribution. Or if you don't want to do that, you can say overall, the most important trend is that Asia has more than half of the population of the world. That's okay. But now you, can't, you don't have to talk about it in the body because you've already talked about it in the overall. So remember, no repetition in the graph writing. You don't have to repeat anything. And remember, we just have 150 to 180 words to write. We have 20 minutes for that. We've planned already. Now it's the time to write. And later, we'll check. So we have to write a maximum of 185 words. We cannot write 200 because we'll lose 0.5 bands. 50 words extra mean 0.5 bands gone. 100 words extra, one band gone. So we cannot do that. So we have to write a maximum of 180, 85 words. That's it. Minimum 150, maximum 185. Just some information for you guys. If you have all the information explained in 140, 145, don't worry, it's okay too. Some of the, most of the examiners are lenient with that, but you must have everything covered in those 140, 145 words. So in the body, you talk about all those things that we've discussed, the relationship between them, the comparisons, and the highest, the lowest, talk about them. You can talk about them separately. You start with the world spending one. Spending is expenses, expenditures, the budget, where does the world spend its money? And then you talk about the population, distribution, where do people in the world reside? And the last one is the consumption of resources. Where do the resources of the world go? So use different words. Don't use the words which are given in the question. That's really important. So you can describe all three of them one by one separately, even into three paragraphs. If you do it in one paragraph, that's perfectly fine. It's good if you do it in one paragraph. If you want to do it separately just for being clearer, perfectly fine too. So you can even use the word like firstly, after that, finally, for three pie charts. And eventually you come up with a conclusion. So in the conclusion, you can talk about what you've noticed. We have the highest amount of people living in Asia and we spend the most on food, 
whereas the Europeans and Americans together spend the highest amount of what we have available. That could be your conclusion. So I hope you've understood the easiest of the graphs, that's the pie charts, and now you'd be able to write it. So thank you very much for being with us. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel too. Thank you very much for being with us. Bye-bye.